Hey guys, it's July, which means it's a brand new month, new giveaway. Just announced the other one. If you missed the last video, I, I announced the winner of last month's giveaway. And if you've submitted since then, you're just rolled over into the new one. I haven't announced what I'm giving away yet, but it'll be about equal value of what last month's was, which was a $50 Amazon gift card. And I know this is a little later in the day than I've usually been doing these videos, but yesterday was July 4th, Independence Day, and I took my first day off in a while, so I didn't work. Planned on getting back and shooting this late at night and having it ready this morning, but that didn't work. I fell asleep. So here we are, a little later in the day, but still on Thursday, not gonna miss it. Things are going great, and I don't want to miss this video. I, I look forward to making these every week now, but Next week, we should be back on schedule Thursday morning-ish. This week does bring in a new month, which means that it's kind of early in the month and not a ton of submissions have come in yet. So I didn't pick a theme this week, but I did pick some of my favorites that have been submitted so far. So here they are, and this is the EDS Weekly. Before I get too far into this, I am going to throw out a disclaimer. I am going to butcher so many words and names in this video. Maybe that's the theme, stuff I can't pronounce. The first submission this week is from Omar Jonaid, Jonaid. He's Pakistani and there are a lot of things in his EDC that you're not gonna be able to find the exact version of, but I have done my best to link something very similar to what he's carrying down below. So if you like anything from his EDC or any of the others later in this video, everything will be linked in the description. First up here, we have the iPhone 6S and it is in a black hard shell cover. That's one of those things I couldn't find. Next up is the Booker or Boker DA66 folding knife. That one, the pronunciation is a bit of a mystery. It is a German product, so I would go with the umlaut pronunciation, but I'm not an expert at that. And the leather card holder you see there in the bottom right is I don't know the brand name, M-J-A-F-A-R-J-E-E-S. It's not, it's foreign and I cannot pronounce it. I don't know where to begin. Then he has a Uniball Sino gel pen and a Miniso S3020 Bluetooth earbuds. And finally is a guest watch with an unknown model number. Omar says, the iPhone 6S is my daily driver and helps me get through my day. The Miniso earbuds are mostly used when I'm working out and the leather wallet is slim, but still able to fit all my cards and some cash easily. The pen is affordable and writes well. And because I'm a student, it is essential. The knife is super affordable at right around 600 rupees or around $6. Not true, it's actually a little more expensive than that in the US, it's about a $20 knife. Still not expensive, but just clarifying. And is very compact and carries well in the pocket. The watch that I use is from Guess and is a good fashion accessory. Overall, I use all of these things on a daily basis and do not carry anything that I do not need. And I agree, it's a very simple setup, it's very nice, and I, I'm a sucker for a wood-handled knife, man. I just am. The Benchmade Northfield has been on my wish list for a long time. It's just super, super nice, and I love that timeless, classic look of a wood handle. This one's a little cheaper, of course, but again, I'm kind of in the middle. I like expensive things, I like cheap things, because if you break the cheap things, they're easy to replace, or the more expensive things are usually a little more durable. So, you know, it's a it's a trade-off and there is no right or wrong. And this is a fairly fine knife, especially if you can get it for around six US dollars. Hell yeah, do it. And I love that strap on the watch. I love, I'm a sucker for leather watch straps. I just am, and that one's nice. Just realized I wasn't wearing my watch. Let's fix that. Anyway, thank you for sharing, Omar. You now have a second entry into the July giveaway, and I don't know what that is yet, but we'll figure it out eventually. The next submission comes from Cody Amarino. I believe that's correct. At this point, I'm gonna stop apologizing. Obviously, he prefers to carry tiny little miniature things, and I can relate because I'm the exact same way. I like little things, always have, just tiny little trinkets. First up here, we have the 42 millimeter Apple Watch Series 3, and on that, he has the brown leather Nomad strap. His phone of choice is the iPhone 10, and he carries it in a black silicone Apple case. His field notes is the Expedition Series, which is the orange series, and he writes in that with a matte black Fisher Space pen. He carries his cards and money in a black Herschel Supply Co. Slim wallet, and his flashlight of choice here is the Olight S1 Mini Baton. On his keys, he has a tile mate, so he doesn't lose them, and his knife here is the Bomber & Co. B2 Bomber Nano, which I actually unboxed on Mod last year. And finally is a memory bracelet. This is actually my second time shooting this video. The first time the audio was completely shot, so I had to set up and do it again. The first time around, I said I didn't know what a memory bracelet was. 
but this time I know that he tells me what it is in his little description. Cody says, I strive to keep things simple, but still carry everything I may need throughout my days. To start, I carry an iPhone SE, not shown in the photo, for work purposes, and an iPhone 10 for personal use, used to take the photo. I carry an orange field notes and a matte black Fisher Spaceman bullet to jot down ideas on the go or at work. Next up, I have a black Herschel Supply Co card wallet where I keep a couple of IDs and credit cards. And I'm not sure if I'm rubbing off on people or not, but the next up thing, I can't help but say next up or next or first up here, or I, I know I'm not like coining anything, but it's just, I feel like I say it too much in my videos. And I wonder if that's rubbing off on you guys. First up here, next up here, like I can't think of anything else to say in the moment. These are all off the cuff and I just, that's what comes to me anyway. And I say that a lot too, anyway. We need like counters for how many times I say next up and anyway. <laughs> I never leave the house without my 42 millimeter Apple watch with a brown leather Nomad watch band. I love how a nice leather band looks and over time when a patina develops, the brown leather adds a nice classy touch to the watch. The S1 Olight Mini Baton is such a powerful light packed in such a small footprint. I absolutely love it. I use it mostly for work and find myself using to look for keys and the added magnet allows me to look for things in my shed as well as in the dark. On my keychain, I have a car key of course, a B2 Bomber tactical knife, from Bomber Co and a tile in case I lose my keys. The B2 knife is pretty good for what I use it for. I love how simple and small it is and it is actually really sharp and useful. Lastly, I wear a memory bracelet on my wrist in memory of all those who made an ultimate sacrifice to this great nation, to Valhalla brothers. And there you go, that's your answer for a memory bracelet. It's to honor fallen soldiers, but there you go. Memory bracelets, we both learned something today. And speaking of the Bomber and Co B2 Nano knife, I liked it, I carried it for a while. It's actually, I, I take back what I said in a previous video, it's the first knife I think I've ever lost. I don't know where it is. And it's so small that that's probably why I lost it. It's just super tiny, like an inch long, I think. It's, it's very, very small. But I did not review that knife or talk about it anymore because there was a little bit of a controversy around the company that made it, Bomber & Co. There was a claim that they they did hold a Kickstarter campaign and it was successfully funded, it was very popular, but there was a claim that they really just used that money to buy a pre-made knife from AliExpress or Alibaba, bring them over to the US and stamp their name on it and ship them out, which is a little shady. It's not made of the greatest steel ever too, and that was another thing that people were complaining about. So I just decided not to talk about it anymore. I carried it for the longest time. Um, I think it's pretty sweet. It's hard to sharpen. The blade is tiny and it's half serrated and it's only about an inch long. So anyway, thank you for sharing Cody. Love the setup. I love everything orange. Like if you want to appeal to me, orange. Look at my logo. Look at things I've done in the past. I love orange. That's just how it is. Thank you for sharing. You now have a second entry into the July giveaway. The third and final submission this week comes from Paul Bilodeau, who was actually just mentioned in the last video for being an honorable mention for June. So I feel a little bit awkward about choosing him right off the rip for July and having him been an honorable mention before. Didn't even realize it until like when I was making this video, I realized, hey, I know that name and a lot of this stuff looks familiar. So congrats, Paul, for making it this month. Sorry you didn't last month. <laughs> and to that point, for one reason or another, there is a there is a reason why not everybody can be featured. One, if I featured more than three a week, these videos would be really long and they're already enough to edit. They're, they take a while to edit. Um, then you've also got, you know, 50, 60, 100 submissions. I can't feature all of those. So I'm trying to do what I can by putting some on the site and doing the honorable mentions and everything, but it just doesn't always work out because sometimes there's a theme or sometimes a submission comes in at, at like 11.59 on the last day of a month and I can't feature that one for that month. So if you want to increase your odds of getting a second entry, the earlier in the month you submit, the better. Uh, but that's really all I can say. So let's get started. First up here, we have an iPhone 10 and an Apple leather case. On the back of that is an American flag pop socket. And then his wallet of choice is the Popov leather five card wallet in Driftwood. Seems to be a theme here on the EDC Weekly. Burt's Bees is his lip balm of choice, and his earbuds of choice are the Apple AirPods. The watch he wears on his wrist is the Seiko SKX009, and the knife you see in the picture here is actually a brand new knife from Gerber. It's called the Flat Iron, and it's actually a folding pocket cleaver, which is really cool. I like the look of it 
a lot actually. He has two flashlights, both from Streamlight. The main flashlight is the MicroStream, and the smaller one you see on the keychain is the Nano keychain light. And finally, underneath everything is the Canela & Co. Hank. Paul says, I use my iPhone for the daily task of passing time on social media apps when it's a slow day at work. I have the Apple leather case because aged leather looks great, and I've had to pop off leather wallet for about two years now and love the way it looks and love a slimmer wallet. I use my AirPods every day for music or phone calls. They work great and are very convenient. Seiko SKX009 is my go-to timepiece at the moment, and today I'm carrying the Gerber flat iron. It's a really beefy knife with plenty of chopping power. I cut a lot of cardboard at work and this goes through it like a hot knife through butter. A couple of reliable flashlights, and finally a Canela & Co Hank, the best EDC Hank that I have had. Small veteran on business with great quality Hanks at an affordable price. Highly recommend checking them out. Thanks for the great content. Keep up the good work. Love that the EDC Weekly is back. Paul. Thank you, Paul. I love that it's back too. I actually do look forward to making these videos every single week. And to be honest, I wish I had more time to make these videos and make more EDC videos and more mod videos. Uh, but that's just not possible right now. So what we can do, what you can do to make this happen is to submit more, to share the videos, to go to the website, click through those links. If you click any of the links in the description down below or on the website or any of that. If you click anything and it takes you to Amazon and sometimes to other sites like eBay or Walmart or REI, if you click those links, we get a little kickback from it. Just a little affiliate program that we've got going on, a lot of affiliate programs actually. And it's just to keep the lights on to make this possible and hopefully eventually to be able to do this full time. If we can grow this to a self-sustaining thing, then it's just gonna mean more EDC content or outdoor content on the other channel and just more overall. So I urge you, I implore you to share, like, subscribe, and do everything you can, do all that business. And you can also pledge on Patreon. That's linked, uh, not down below on this one, but over on the other channel. I can't link out to Patreon in the videos yet on this channel because it's not at 10,000 subs. So that's the first step. And then beyond that, We'll just continue growing. So thank you all for submitting. Continue to submit. Go to edcw.co, submit yours there. Give me a little information so I can get in touch with you. If you do win, maybe you win. It's a random drawing. That's how I choose these. But if you do get featured on our Instagram, in the video, or on the website now, you get an additional entry into the giveaway. So go there, do that. And you can find us around the web. You can find the channel on Instagram and Twitter at BestDamnEDC. The website is ModernOutdoorDweller.com. Looking on shortening that a little bit because it's a bit of a mouthful. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at CasperTech. And until next time, carry on. <laughs>